Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We're here at Chicagoland this week and I think it's going to be a really fun one. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. We are going to go ahead and move the brake bias back because we might actually need to use that late run. But uh, for now, definitely not going to be using it because we're doing qualifying. So hot lapping here. See if we can get ourselves a nice starting position. The uh, start of this race and maybe the whole darn event it's going to be interesting because we're pretty close on fuel to be being able to eliminate a stop. You can see I'm estimated about 45 laps down there. That's exactly what we have to make is about 45 laps. So I'm going to be trying to save some fuel early on for sure. And if cautions come along, that'll change our strategy a bit, I imagine. But green flag, green flag, okay. And now we just got to worry about being as fast as we can. Which is interesting because I just did a uh, official race for practice and that was at night time. And uh, the track was a lot grippier. So it's taking a little bit of an adjustment. To get used to how the track feels and that was absolutely horrible. That corner pushed way too much. Um, gonna have to back it down for sure. Oh wow, I'm not gonna qualify well today. Alright, optimal, session optimal, yeah that was just absolutely awful. Um, not gonna be able to put together a full lap it looks like. Try to get ourselves a better three and four but we messed up one and two this lap so 605, that's garbage. <laughs> I mean, uh, compared to what I know I can do. I think, uh, I think it was bad for me to practice using the official race because I got used to, uh, how the track felt then, and, uh, you definitely need to drive it less hard in the hotter conditions, so that's unfortunate. But still not the worst qualifying, or P6, and it's a long race, and we're going to be saving at the start anyway. So that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and do a practice pit in here, because hopefully we need to use it. A little bit difficult to find the right place to kind of start slowing down. But not the worst pit entry in the world either. Look out for the pit yeah. don't like the way you're driving. Oh my gosh. It was a good pit entry. Down they down just down. don't like when we do that during qualifying. Nick up there in fourth. Probably because he didn't overdrive it like we did. <laughs> He's usually pretty good about making sure he uh, doesn't overdrive. And it paid off for him there. Tires are going to matter, I think. So hopefully while we're saving fuel, we're saving tires as well. Andrew's got the pole, but still waiting on him, and the 23 as well. As of right now, we're starting 7th. Scott says he messed it up. Where did he get, end up? Back here between Nick King and Brandon. Yeah, I got, uh, <laughs> I was uh, hitting 29s, 29 nines in the nighttime conditions. And then, yeah, here's proof right there, 29 nine. And uh, we get a 30.6 here in the, in the session best right there, so. Jumbled up, Chad says. Gavin's down there. He's had some qualifying troubles recently. So, not the worst. Anyone have steering ratio recommendation? I didn't practice much. Um, I'm not really helpful in that because I always do 12 to 1. That's the end of the session. Seventh position. 
So we've got uh, warm up here. We'll go ahead and look at the league standings as we have officially ended up P7. So I will bring those up for you to take a look at as we wait through warm up. 134 laps here today, by the way. So uh, the idea is that we're going to pit on lap 45, lap 90 ish, 90, 91, see how far we can go, and then bring it to the end. So. That's why it's crucial for us to get to about lap 45 or better. I want to try to save early so we don't have to save later. And I'll bring up those league standings now that I've gotten to the page. Here we are. Currently leading, but not by the widest of margins. Got Tracy behind us, and he is 64 points, that is, back, I believe, if I can do math correctly. Hope I can, because I kind of need that for this race here today. And I'm um, hoping to get myself a good finish. Try to uh, get some bonus points even, maybe. Lap lead and all that. Alright, navigate uh, back here. Alright, and uh, since it's going to be another minute and a half, I'll let you go. And we will uh, rejoin when it's about time to start the race. All right, we're back and ready to go. We got a grid here in the next 47 seconds, but I'm actually going to wait a second, which I kind of feel bad doing. I'm not going to be like the last one out there, I think. But since we're so we close on fuel, it. I'm going to wait. Got you loud and clear. Because you are burning up fuel if you got the car on, sitting on the grid Appreciate waiting for people to join up. So I just... Uh, I'm going to try to be like one of the last guys out there, I think. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, waiting a bit. Good luck. That Hold should on. be good. There are three additional sets of tires yeah, during the race. Good luck, everybody. Have it's a good race. One lap to green. You'll be lining up good luck. inside. The estimated SOF is 3,266. Oh, we got a nice field here today. How many people we got, actually? Closed. Pit road is closed. Yeah, good luck, guys. Pay attention. 33 people. So we're estimated about 44 laps. We've got to save a little bit more than that. Yeah, I reckon we'll take some good long runs here. I hope so. I think it'd be fun to do some yeah. strategy racing. Flag good stop. I think there will be. Don't want to be too far back and cause a uh, accordion effect or anything. But trying to cruise a little bit. Nick, I like that white uh, good range paint team. That's the looking car. Yeah, I'm locked it up on the train. Let's get into line. You ready? Right, car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. <laughs> he too blinked and uh, freaked me out for a second. Thought he was going. The car outside. Still there. I actually am using a. Uh, anti-stall clutch for the first time, which means I actually have to flip the throttle myself. Kind of hit, uh... I'm kind of on myself for waiting so long to learn that, because it's really not too hard to learn, and uh, it can really help out on the restarts. I was just putting it off for so long because I was afraid I was going to mess up while trying to learn it, but not so bad at all. I'm not really trying to be three wide, I just want the shortest way around the track. Coaching in. Alright. Definitely going to be cutting it. I want to save fuel, shortest way around, and it really does save a little bit of time, so makes sense to me.
marker in front of us is Klingman. No one else really taking the apron. Makes me feel a little self-conscious, but you don't want to do that. I kind of decided going in, I wanted to use the apron each lap. So far, so good. We are green. Gonna check on fuel in a little bit once it's had had time to kind of uh, calibrate a little bit. My logic is, uh, oh, Shane right behind us. Uh, my logic is with the cutting the apron. Sure, maybe it saves two hundredths of a second, but in five laps, that's a tenth, right? So, inside. Okay, Shane going inside, it's fine. There, hold your I wasn't really quite sure he was going to do that. We're just trying to save anyway right now. 37 laps, we are just short still. Alright, got a new leader, someone getting some bonus points up there. That was John doing that. Face is going to be to our inside here. Really want to stay on the inside as much as I can. And a caution. Well, so much for that. Too early to come in. We're gonna save. Wonder what happened. Hey, seven. You good? We're under caution. Pits are closed. Bummer. I was saving fuel. I was feeling good. Hey, maybe we still need to save fuel. We weren't quite to 45. Seven. Seven. We're just barely there now, so we'll continue saving. Pit road is now open. Pits are open. No need to top off. I think we can make it to at least 45 already. Is Nick planning on getting some fuel? He looks like he's uh, trying to duck down there. No way, man. Get the 88 car. How many sets of tires we got? Three? Wait, man. Way too early for me. Pit road is closed right now. We're under caution. Pits I mean, I guess we're getting fuel, but I don't think we need it. We should be able to make it to uh, first target time. A lot of guys may be not, not even taking tires. Surely nobody's taking tires this early. I want fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to check my tires on the dumbass. Uh oh. Oh no, you needed those. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't think about it. Honestly, I was like, I'm pitting. I'm like, shit. Unfortunate. You're gonna look like a. Oh, I've done that before. It sucks. Yeah. It's me, little green, all the way. It's okay, but. Uh... That's what I was gonna say. It'll look good if we go green. I just had to go run to my room and grab my charging cord for my headset. So. Whoops. We're gonna be P3 then. We should easily make it to 45. And then some. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. But we'll see. I still have to save. I forgot it was single file. Damn, I'll pull up spots from having to go grab my cord. Could have been worse. True. Still plenty of race left to recover, that's for sure. I mean, if it goes green all the way, you might have just won. So. Yeah, because I mean, we're seeing massive fall off, even if you're trying to save the, save the tire, so. You know, like I said, if it goes green, you might be in the catbird seat. Get ready, going green. All right. Can you save fuel? And I uh, got a little bit more track position now. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. Green. You're now in third. Outside, the next car's the leader. Keep low. Clear outside. Had a pretty good restart there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the lead, but it would be cool to guarantee ourselves some uh, bonus points. Scott says, sorry, I wonder what happened back there. Hopefully everyone's alright. Nothing major. Leave the lap. We do. All right. Keep low. Okay, you are the leader. You're in the lead. Still there. Hold your line. The left it. Still there. Still there. Overgrove it a little bit. Carry too much speed into the corner because of clutching. Go low. Clear up top, outside. 
Gets the run off. We're gonna clutch a little sooner heading into the corner. It's a good run through one and two that time. Clear. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want to. Our, our tire, our fuel looking like 28. Real close to our outside, that's fine. Outside is clear. Car outside. Stay low. I feel like uh, we're doing pretty good for saving fuel. Kind of keeping it up here. Holding the bottom line, just what I want to do, so not a big deal that we're side by side. Now that we're single file, even better. We hit exactly the marks I want to hit. Looks like we're about 26 laps of fuel. We are plenty good. They're going to be side by side now for the lead. Maybe Shane looking to lead a lap if he hasn't already. I like the big gap we've got behind us. That's comforting. I don't think anybody took tires. I think that was all fuel from everybody there. And I don't think we needed to take fuel. I keep overdriving 3 and 4. Crazy how much tighter 3 and 4 is compared to the practice race I did in official. Shane getting loose on the quad oval or whatever you want to call it. Tri oval. It's the Gen 4 car special, getting loose in places you don't expect. I get in the feel for uh, where I need to be lifting off and such for turn 3. Hopefully this uh, fuel savings helping the tires as well. I'm definitely entering softer than I would otherwise, I think. Got to be patient on the throttle. That lap time was Cutting the tri-oval. One time maybe doesn't save much distance, but if I do it 40 times, adds up a little bit. You can almost make the lap 50 at this point. I'm going to go as long as I can, because we want to have excess fuel at the end if we can, so we can drive hard. Fuel left. Okay. Still driving in a little bit hard. The three just really wants to get on the right front. really interesting how much tighter 3 and 4 are compared to 1 and 2. Theoretically they're supposed to be identical, but it certainly does not feel that way in practice in the, uh, in the actual act of racing.
Coast Dunner 32.5. A little bit of a loose moment for Shane, maybe, up ahead. Looks like it might have uh, gotten sideways a little bit more than he wanted there. Who was it that did take tires that didn't mean to? Was that Dakota that did that? I can't remember. We haven't seen him yet, though, on our relative. It'll be interesting to see if he starts showing up because of uh, that mistake, quote-unquote, which might end up working out pretty darn well for him if it goes green the whole darn rest of the way. I don't know why I said darn twice. I'm just so darn excited. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Whoa, big moment for Ian up there. He got big loose. Apart from the tightness in 3 and 4, my handling's feeling pretty good. I uh, can't really fault the car for that necessarily, it's just how the track is racing, I feel like. Hmm, try to sound a little bit different there, I don't think I really liked it though. Try lifting off and then hitting the clutch and... See how that felt, but uh, not so much. Got Ryan coming up on us. He's point six back. I don't recognize him. I don't know if he's raced with us before. Probably Jesus, if he has, and I just don't remember. But uh, he's on his way up here. Looking to be strong right now. Getting a little bit loose on that on the apron Sorry, down here. Oh, early there. I, I lifted it early. You overdrove it, but uh, if it was on me, it's my bad. Sorry. Might have to reconsider using the apron if it's going to get too unsettled. I'll continue feeling it out. Go ahead and check our fuel. We got about 16 laps. We are good to about 48, which I think is a great number to make it to. Got lap traffic appearing on our relative, it looks like. That is Zachary in the 50 car. I think I'm going to go ahead and stay on the track moving forward. Just a little bit too unsettled I'm on the apron now. I feel like I'm almost getting sideways. And uh, that's not going to be faster if I start doing that. So I have to watch out for the 30 who's on his way. Still has gotten even closer. I uh, did that because I'm in the habit of doing it now. Even though I said I was going to stop. Shane getting a little loose. Keeps the momentum going though. And it's... I'm lifting up big early and it's still... Pushing in three and four. Let's compare uh, how fast that using their trial is compared to not. We still are faster going down there. Looks like just barely. Four is just killer, man. I does not want to turn.
be interesting to see how far the guys ahead can go. I feel like I've been dramatically saving fuel, probably a little bit too much. 85 hitting. Oh, he's just now going in. Wow, okay. That's too early. He's choosing to do an extra stop, I guess? Go high. Guy behind him pits, too. That is a, a little shocking, actually. We'll see how far Shane can make it. Oof. Looking at Zach down there in the apron, and I got myself loose. 98, Ben. Wow. Okay. The gap ahead is now Surprise. not the Surprising, surprising. These guys cannot make it then. We've got a guy coming on our outside, so we got to watch out. Outside. The lead is bidding now. Go low. Oh, no. Go I'm behind you and Nick. Right down the lead. Clear high. We have a new leader. Uh oh. <laughs> We can go quite a ways still. Okay, Colton. We've still got another ten laps. Header is getting closer. The gap is now 1.5. I think we killed the right front in three and four this run. Just because of uh, the clutching and then entering a little bit too hard. Just gonna take it as far as it'll go. I think that's the plan. Started going back down to the apron. It, it's a little, a little slippery, but it feels fine. You're leading. It's definitely tight at this point. Ian's coming up now. I'll give you the bottom here. Inside, the And he was going to be coming fast, so I just want to make sure he knew where uh, we were planning to be. I'm not too concerned about how much ground they're, they're gaining, because I'm thinking they're going to have to do a whole other pit stop. Which is going to be a whole lot of time saved, or uh, lost, rather. Saved for us, because we're going to be not doing that extra pit stop. Is he about a second behind? I bet he's saved a pretty good amount of fuel. He's gonna make it at least to 45, it looks like. You got about five laps of fuel. Five left. Laps, laps left for us. I'm gonna chill out with the clutching into three and four now. Is Shane close enough? Yeah, he probably was, but. Sorry, I should have given you the bottom there. That would have been way too late, but anyway. Alright, well, the car does not want to turn anymore. Holy cow, this thing is terrible. I'm surprised we haven't had a call for uh, worn tires yet, because that was just unbelievably tight through the corner. We're 
on three, John. Chad, I'm gonna box this time. Comes Ryan. Thanks for the heads up, Mason. You've got one guy on the left. I'll give you the bottom. Yeah, no problem. Inside. Clear inside. You've got about two laps of fuel. Two laps of fuel. No, I'm not coming down quite yet, but pretty close. Sorry, didn't see you coming there. We're going to need rubber soon. There's the tire call. You're fine. All right, I'm pitting in this lap. Pitting in this lap. Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap, please, Colton. You've got half a gallon left. You have about one lap of fuel left. Don't forget to pit for more fuel. We're running the car outside. Tonight. In this lap, outside. Box this clear. lap. All right, get it slowed down. There we go. Miles per hour. We think we'll need to stop again. Fuel and tires did not do a good job of saving them. Five, three, two, one. Right here. But we shouldn't need to save them anymore, which is the good news. Twenty-two forty-eight. Spin them up. There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. Gotta remember, I gotta flip the throttle now. Since I uh, changed my uh, shifting that, Rick. settings. Yeah, you confused me with that number 27. Clear high. Yeah, that confused me for a bit, too. Clear high. The lead is bidding now. There's a car exit in the pit. Car outside. Go low. B27. Low car down low. Coming out ahead of Tracy. Clear. Getting closer. The gap's now. 0.1. Okay, Colton. We're just going to regular save fuel now by driving somewhat easy and trying not to be harsh with the tires. I think we should have ourselves a better run this time. Got to get blocked by Dan there. It's all right. Got to be patient. It's on us to get by safely. Oh my gosh. Huge speed difference there. Hayden, okay, the leader right now. Got some bonus points, probably. These are the guys that pit for fuel early. They're going to be coming in for fuel soon. So we got to make it to about lap 90. I think we should be able to do that without much issue. Even without uh, going hard on the saving this time. So I think we made it pretty far. But we'll keep an eye on it too. Putting in, putting in, putting in this Our estimate is going to change. Since we're driving harder now. 67 pitting, 67 pitting. 58 pitting. The lead is pitting now. Your last lap time was at 31.0. The leader on the See where we cycle out. I know we're going to be behind guys like Ryan up there. Those guys that cannot uh, eliminate a pit stop right now. 
we can. Next guy behind us that should be able to make it is Benjamin, I think, from lap 44, but he's on five lap older tires. Ooh, a little loose, gotta be careful. Fastest lap for the fastest lap. That matters too. Bonus points to the fastest lap. Maybe we got to think about that later uh, once we get fresh tires. Do a really fast lap. Get back we'll think about it. <laughs> we just don't want to like nuke the tires in one lap either. Especially because I think uh, the way to get a fast lap is to run the high side. Coming up quick on Allen right now. Gaining on Ryan as well, who's in P4. Us the bottom here. Ooh. Yes. Clear outside. So we're catching Ryan and he still has to do another stop. That's not a very enviable place to be in. You're back in fourth position. But this could all uh, be rendered obsolete with a caution some point. Nine seconds to the leader. I think we're the lead guy that does not have to make an extra stop, which is great news. Is that true? I think so. Shane might be borderline. Not sure. Because I think he stayed a little longer. Casey's four seconds back with one lap fresher tires. Car outside. Thanks, Billy. Clear. All right, that's P3. You're back in Keep hustling. I'm going to check our fuel mileage here in a second again. Oh, big loose up ahead. Don't crash, please. <laughs> yeah, we can still make it to 90, no trouble. Clear. I don't think Shane can make it without uh, an extra pit stop. He, pat, uh, he pit lap 39. And again, it's kind of 44, 45 you're trying to aim for. Glad we got our saving done early, and we're able to be pretty fast while doing it still. Go ahead, Scott. You've just done a How slow 3 and 4 are really helped with the fuel mileage, because you can just clutch it for a while, and uh, still maintain the amount of speed you would normally have anyway, because of how, <laughs> how tight the corner is. guys ahead probably trying to save if I had to guess because I imagine they really don't want to have to make that extra stop but on the other hand if they know they can't make it they might just be going fast and uh, just saying hey we're gonna have to take the extra stop but we're gonna be fast because we don't need to save fuel or anything we'll see what they do if they can make it to lap 90 or not, because that is the goal this run. That's the goal post, try to make it to about lap 90. Right now we can make it to 29, about 80 and 91-ish. 
Okay, Colton, we're gaining on the car. Alan coming up on us with fresh tires, maybe? Seconds. Your lap time was 32.2. He pit lap 55. I wonder if that's his first or second time pitting. He made it quite a ways if that's his first time pitting. It's very impressive. Inside. Just ease around for him. Make sure he clears yeah. us. And get in behind him. Clean transaction there. Let's see where he gets the extra grip through the corner. He's able to speed off. Thanks, buddy. Basically about three seconds behind. I saw that, Gavin. Gavin have a wall hit. Keep it up. Doing a really good job. Time was yeah, hopefully I'm uh, not broken. Like I tend to be. Speaking of broken, I uh, finally got my uh, spotter to do the damage report thing. I couldn't get the hotkey to work. I got it working now. I wonder if I can get him to tell me, like, hey, your car's clean or whatever, even if I don't have any damage. I'll try that here in a second. I'm going to make sure I'm actually on a straightaway and not a turn, which is the front stretch here. I'm doing it okay. Although, to be fair, the back stretch a little curved too, which I almost ran into. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I got it working. Sweet. That's good news. More good news, we can still make it to about lap 92. Could be plenty. It does concern me that Tracy's catching us quite a bit, though. Playing there, 28. I appreciate it. We went from four seconds to three. Also got uh, fresher tires coming up. Let them buy when they get here. Feeling pretty good though. I think I'm in a great spot. Would love for this to go green to the end. I think we can do it. Don't know what the caution earlier was, but we seem much more spread out right now. I think we have an even better chance to do so. Fresh tire is going to be on the inside here. Inside. Clear inside. The camera front is now. He'll be coming up on us real fast here in a second. Thank you. Looking up to Shane. Wonder how far he can make it on fuel. Judging by when he came in, say he can probably make it to about 85 or so. But he could be saving large here. Chad, what side do you want, high or low? Depending on what he's planning to do. I think my tires are going to be much better this time. I think clutching into the corner was just murdering the right front. Still overdriving it a little bit. Just crazy tight in 3 and 4. Leader is pitting. Ian's definitely not going to be able to eliminate the stop. He's going for the extra pit stop and uh, don't know if that's going to work too well since we already passed him. 
think this is definitely the strategy you want to be on. That's the car coming around the outside. Keep low. Clear up top. A little loose down there because I have to take a weird angle. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Shane in the lead now. We're coming up on him. Zach entering very low into the corner. That's interesting. Gonna watch out there for him to wash up. Gets around him alright though. Tracy two and a half back. You got it here. Shane having some handling issues maybe. Looked a little loose there. Fastest laps being set out here. Sorry, Chad. By guys who are presumably on fresh tires. Now we got Marius back there on fresher tires. Five laps fresher. B2. He's just gaining moderate bits at a time, it looks like. Coming around. Clear Loose there. Outside. But we will get to his inside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Not gonna push hard to get around him. I don't think we need to. Just take our time with it. Don't hurt the tires. He's fighting me. Clear. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the Which I wish he wouldn't, because I think he still has to do another stop, and we don't, so I don't know why. Unless he's uh, on Tracy's team. <laughs> Stay low. Or just looking to have some fun, which is fair. That was a uh, 33.1. Clear up top. Finally get around him. We don't have to push too hard to do it. You know, he could, he could have been looking, trying to uh, get most laps led too, which is also fair. That's another bonus set of bonus points. We can do that, so can't fault him. We are now within two seconds to Tracy, though, unfortunately, as we lost some time. But we are in the lead, so that's cool. You can go on by Dakota in the lead and we can uh, do this at one more stop. Appreciate that, Rick. You got it, bud. Pitting in, pitting in. Shane's pitting in. I don't think that's going to be far enough. He's going to need a caution. Only lap 80, lap 90 is the target. This full tank will get you maybe 45 laps. Of course, when we saved, we were able to go a little bit more, but you don't want to be saving at the end of the race either. You want to be uh, driving hard, I think. John actually is now the car behind us with two lap fresher tires, so he's probably gaining faster than Tracy is even. That's a little worrisome. New Challenger approaches. Cool the left sides off a little bit, I guess. A Get a little bit of grass, so it's not intentional.
Getting closer to pit time though, so not too concerned about the guys approaching behind. I don't want to have to worry about fuel at all the final run, so we're going to go as long as we can with this tank and then uh, be able to just push how we want all the way to the end. That's good consistency. Keep it up. It's probably going to come in around lap 93 maybe or so. I think that should be good. Five minutes of fuel remaining. How's that looking? Ten lamps. We can make it to about 93. Yeah, we'll do that. So run the thing dry. And uh, race to the end. Sounds like a good plan to me. Thanks, 31. And John's approaching quickly. Sorry for kind of clogging that up, but, uh, It's going to be within a second here soon. I didn't hear what you said, but no worries. So about 10 more laps, a little less than 10 more laps on this uh, set of tires. I think John's done a better job. He might be around us by the time it's time to pit. It's too bad. so key to back it down for three and four. I feel like I've been overdriving it. That was a uh, 32.9. Yeah, the car's starting to get real tight over there, like it did at the end of the first run. Okay, Colton, cup time's pretty consistent. We're going to need rubber soon, take it easy now. There's the tire call. We have not done much better with the tires this time. Still pretty bad. It's like you've got about five laps of fuel. Five laps of fuel ish. John is behind us now. Shane coming around on the inside. Flying past us. But we can't come in too early. We can't just use this as an excuse to pit. It's around us. Billy says he's pitting this time. It's right around fuel window. One gallon remaining. 
really got to back it down in three and four. You've got about two laps of fuel. Two laps of fuel. All right, Go ahead, Brandon. We're running on fumes, mate. Hit this lap, in this lap. Saying this lap. Like moving to the outside, maybe? I can't tell where he's trying yeah, to go. Car inside. Clear. Outside. Let her rip there, Ian. Go ahead. Hit this lap. You have about one lap of fuel left. The gap to SAS ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. Your lap time was 33.3. Pitting in this lap, pitting in. I'm pitting as well, 18's pitting. Really hoping that would not. Pitting this lap. The next car's the leader. The leader's sitting now. It's pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Alright. Did not the speed. Got in there as fast as we could. Everything's checked. Pick him up. Jack, I gotta Five, pick this time. Three, two, one. Right here. I almost slid past it. 2142. Even worse than last time. I don't know, man. I got problems. <laughs> Okay, go. Irvin, is the leader sitting now? Is it only have one stay inside the line. remaining? The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. Okay, Colton, the next car is SAS. Felt like a slow exit the pit road. Good, I called my pit in the front. Well, John's got a 1.2 second lead. And we catch him and get around him. 24 Getting stuck a little bit by a lap car. That'll help. That's Chuck, who's now your leader. Twenty-four fitting the time, just reminding you, twenty-four fitting the time. At least we're on equal tires now, John and I. I think he's better at saving tires, though. No problem, Tiger. V12. We're currently setting the pace. Oh, that's right. We wanted to try for a fast lap. Sorry, guys. I couldn't get it to turn. I don't know if we want to, though. Give me five this time. It was really good in here. Sorry, Jason. Eighty six foot in the sunlight, eighty six foot in the sunlight. Leader's leading now. V10. We're set in the face. Pitting there, pitting, pitting. Between my, just leading the race. Going for a fast lap right here. Inside. Still there at the bottom. 29 pin. Still there. You're in the top 10. Still there. Hold your line. Clear inside. 67 will be pitting. 67 will be pitting. Alright, we get the track position. I don't think we hit the fast lap, but that's okay. Fastest lap for Augustine, 30.8. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We waited a couple laps anyway. Cigar exit in the pits. 47 coming in this time, 47 this time. D5. Let's see if we can get on the right rear more. I think maybe if we push a little bit on exit in 1 and 2, maybe we can yaw the car out. Get on the right rear okay, more. Hilton. Now, 
backing fit. Oh. Okay, coming around the 30. I don't know what lane he's trying to be in. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Kind of looks like he was bouncing between middle and <laughs> middle and then the high line, so I was kind of worried about where he's going to be on entry, but he got figured out. Needs a break into three this run. So that can do for our uh, right front. Down still point three behind. He's just trying to maintain. I think he knows he's probably better on long runs. Probably just biding his time. Got fast car coming up. Not close enough though. We gotta run our preferred line. I don't know where he's trying to be. Just can he pass me a little on exit maybe? I don't know. Fine, just leaves me some time. I'm racing for the win here. Trying to get on the right rear there. Some of those guys I have to pit again are coming in. It's really going to hurt them. Way off the wall for some reason. Oh, I was way closer than I was wanting it to be. Yeah, no worries. I was trying to time it too. It just didn't work out. Moving my brake bias back. That's gonna help, but I'm trying to do everything I can here. And John's right behind us. Don't know if we're going to be able to hold him off. Inside. 
Appreciate it, man. Stay high. 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 He gets around us, but I'm still concerned just with saving tire right now. Too early to fight for the win, necessarily, but we want to keep him close. And hurts. Only my left hand, though, I guess because I'm just gripping it so hard trying to make my way through these corners. It does feel looser. Particularly in 1 and 2. Hoping that means that we are doing better for 3 and 4. And once we get close to the end of the race, we're going to be in better shape. But John's probably in better shape as well. Andrew, the next guy back, four seconds. B2. I don't like that John's getting away. Try running high line at some point. I don't know, or do we just stick with this? Or he could blink out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he does that a lot, but that was a big uh, that was a big blink. I thought he was gone for real. Glad he's not though, would rather try to win this the real way. See if we can save these tires well enough. Not likely, though, because, I mean, look who you're talking to. I'm not uh, great with the tire saving part, but I am trying to be nice into three. I think that's a big part of it, as well as uh, trying to get on the right rear on exits. He's almost a second away at this point now, though. So the crew chief reminds us that the next car is the leader. All right, we're doing this. Should be faster. Getting too far away, we gotta try something before it's too late. I don't know if it's gonna work though. Oh, 
Take a look, Ryan. I don't know if it's going to be enough even. I think he's just fast. That's good consistency. Keep it up. He's still getting away. It's not even helping. That's a bummer. Well, it's still faster in 1 and 2. The gap to Sass ahead is now 1.1 seconds. Still faster in 3 and 4, so it's supposed to be faster. It's just John's in a better position. Oh my gosh, I'm spinning on the freaking apron. Ah, uh, not good news for us. Run our laps, see what happens. I followed you up there, Gavin. I was hoping not to do that again. That was a 32.8. I wouldn't mind if you did. Just a little further in front of me, maybe. Yeah, John's got it won. That stinks. We just aren't able to save tires like he is, it looks like. Well, I gotta make you earn it at least. Oh, God. <laughs> Clear. I'll put it in here. Shane's got a pit. I gotta stop going to the apron because it's yeah, too no, used to No freebies, right Gavin. No freebies. I got a freaking pop up from my uh, browser and it <laughs> made my screen kind of weird. That's annoying and I can't fix it from here. Hopefully, that's not showing up in the recording in any way. Well, I didn't ever get the caution I needed. The answer, Sass, in front is now 1.4. Alright, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm trying to jinx myself. How did you get it? Very close. I'll just keep running up here. I think that's where we're hitting our fastest laps. We're halfway home. Just keep <laughs> running under the apron at, at, out of habit. Time to go. Oh, I almost did it again, but I'm staying down here this time. Or up here, I guess, rather. And I'm just going to spin. <sighs> oh, well. John can cruise to victory now. He doesn't even really have very many lap cars up ahead of him. Okay, Colton. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. We're good on fuel, right? Check that in a second. You'll need to take care of your tires. Freaking tires. Nine laps. Yeah, we're good. I was saving the tires so much. It's still just getting the warning call. Probably going to be in the 20s again. I don't know, I just couldn't figure out how to save him, I guess. Oh, my hips.
hand hurts so bad. My left hand. You've just done a 32.9. John's gonna win by like two seconds. Inside. Clear. Dan's going by on his fresher tires. Cup times are pretty consistent. The gap to Sass. I think we should be able to hold on to second at least from Andrew, who's still over three seconds back. We are going to finish ahead of Tracy, which is good. He's P2 in the championship. Is that John in the wall up there? It's not enough, but he's trying to make me feel like I have a chance. All right, five to go. Or rather, uh, four to go. Looks like. Maybe a little bit of lap traffic ahead, but you know everybody's going to be good and stay out of the way and everything. You've got about five laps of fuel. Five laps of fuel left, that's okay, because we only got three laps of race left. He's just continuing to pull away. Disappointing. I thought we were in a good spot for a while there, and then he just uh, was so much better on long runs. Try the low side again, that's still not better. Two left to go. Two Take to the go. apron, which I did by habit again. Hang in there, Ryan, we're almost there. Last lap was at 33.0. You've got two minutes of fuel remaining. Man, I wish I would have found the tire line 50 laps ago. Yeah, same here. I figured out, finally figured out there. I still haven't found it. So we're good to come around and get second. That's a pretty good day at the track, though. Cannot complain about that. Good one. Good race, good win, John. I couldn't figure out the long run. Great drive. That's a podium. Yeah, great race, guys. It feels really good to win one, man. It's been like 15 races since I've won one of these things. I won my first three in a row, and then I had to win 15 races, so it definitely feels good. <laughs> yeah, good win. That was a fun race. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. Man, I feel like I just did a short track. I don't know why my left hand hurts so much. It must sure be the loose. You uncheck your tires next time, guys. Luckily for me, I'm going green, so I don't have to worry about it too bad. Yeah, good race, everybody. I think that should have paid off for Caden if it went green since that... Good race, everybody. Good win, 18, 18. 29, 36. I don't know. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Great race, guys. Good win, That's how you run green flag laps right there. That was awesome. Yeah, that's what makes this league so fun. I did a much better job keeping it balanced, but it was still so really was bad. First time out with y'all, and I really enjoyed it. So hope to be back for a few more.
Yeah, thanks, thanks for joining. Time. That was a real fun one. No, I appreciate y'all having me. I've got me. worse it's right fun. front and I'm, right I'm rear than like everybody. <laughs> Twenty nine thirty six. Yeah, I was just worse all the time, always. If I would have just charged my headset, I might have had a top ten. I always like seeing new people come out and run clean. Me too, though. That's a really I nice finish. Very that. happy with that's, that. That's one thing that I've always pride myself in is trying to be clean and keep a high safety. Trying to block out some of this. <laughs> See my recording still working because. I was getting weird pop-ups, but it looks like it's okay. If you're seeing this, I assume it is okay. Yeah, that didn't work out for Shane, because he didn't make it to the 45 at the start, and never really had a chance to make it with the fuel. Where did he end up? Lap down, yeah, that really didn't work out for the guys. Like, you know, Ryan was running up there really well, for example. Who was another guy? Ian. Ian was probably like the lead guy that was going with the extra stop, and he only gets back up to 11th. Just really had to save that fuel, I think. Nick with the top 10. He and Gavin finish right next to each other. And uh, of course you see the rest of the results. We'll look at the crashes now, the incidents. Got to find somebody that did the whole race, though, probably. I guess it would have worked anyway, but whatever. Whatever. Let it load here for a second. And here we go. So lap one, we've got Sack driving in way too hard. Into the wall. And uh, wow, Orange just gets absolutely cleared out. But who was that? Zach had an issue there. He's way too hard into the corner. Just destroys him. Huh. That gave him some damage. I don't think he continued much longer. I'm sure he felt pretty bad about it. I mean, you can see, uh, like, up ahead there, Warren's entering the corner about the same speed as everyone around him. Zach just overdrives it, I think. And, uh... Great save by Scott. He gets very sideways, but keeps it in the right direction. Even after getting a little bit of damage. Anybody else caught up in that? I don't think so. I think everybody else made it through. Warren got the worst of it. Sit up there for a little while. Unfortunately, his race ends early. And then that code there clips Chad, though that was very close. Bit of a dangerous move going to someone's outside on exit, because you don't know if they're going to be able to turn down as they want, but that shouldn't have happened anyway. That was some net code. Really close racing. Zach's race ends about here. He gets the wall. I think he might just call it there. Because I don't think he does any more laps. No, never mind. Oh, I read 15 laps down. Not, uh, he ended on lap 15. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. John Blinken, we'll probably see that a couple more times. Ryan was running really well before, uh, ending up on the wrong strategy. Probably tires wearing out around this time of the race, so I'm going to skip forward a little bit faster, probably. Everyone's tires getting pretty low, and that tends to show up in the incidents, I think. So we're going to skip ahead until after pit stops. Can't go too fast or the incidents system will break, which is uh, control numpad 3, if you didn't know, to cycle through the incidents. Doesn't work great, but... Hey, it's the best we got. Got people uh, getting down to the bottom to do their pit in. 
That 45, the guys that are still going, are in good shape. Any contact? Nope. Still just the tires wearing out. Nothing from us. Alright. Shouldn't be any longer than about lap 50 that guys could stay out. I had to guess. Although we did have those guys that pit early in the race. Probably helped them out. We got exiting pit road. Something happened here. Doesn't look like it. Zach way too fast into three. He's gonna hit the wall. The wall on exit. Skipping ahead. Is this whenever uh, Gavin gets the wall? Gets a little, a decent chunk of it there on exit. And Zach, uh, sympathy hitting the wall with him. He gets stuck to it for a while, though. We're approaching uh, pit times again. We're just seeing a bunch of guys' uh, tires getting old still. Including mine. Gonna go ahead and just do this. Skip past uh, the pit stops a little bit more. Uh-oh, we had some pit stop issues, it looks like. Zach probably going past a stop by accident. Slams on the brakes. And uh, eventually we'll find his way in there. Lap 108. One of the last laps that we had to lead, if I had to guess, considering John's right there. Billy blinking out. Uh oh, is it frozen? Did we break it? I think it's broken. Okay, I don't think we're going to see anything anyway. That was uh, getting close to the end of the race. As we get a crashed race server. That kind of stinks. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a screenshot then. Darn. But uh, that'll do it for this one. Is it for real, uh, replay broken? Your saving setup, I don't know why it says that. Oh! Yeah, it doesn't want to go to the end. That's bizarre. Anyway, we'll go ahead and look at the race results page. Coming up right here. And then the league standings, which should be updated. So we will get P2, and the winner is John. We get 28 laps led. Ian, I think, got the most laps led, it looks like. Yes, he does, down there with his 11th place finish. We do get one lap led, though, and that counts. We get close to the fastest lap, but not quite. Um, we maybe, maybe had, like, the third fastest lap, it looks like. Tyler, instead, will get that one. Nice job to him. That's a great lap, especially out there on the racetrack like that we're gonna bring away 175 where did Tracy finish he finishes sixth and brings home 150 points so we'll gain 25 on him we'll take a look at that now as we refresh the league view page and there it is all right so oops after Chicago land we are still up in the front I don't think Tracy got any uh, bonus points. Well, we get five, which is cool. And uh, we finish ahead of them. So we'll pull out to a little bit further lead. Got to take that when we can get it. Gavin's still there in third place. I think he finished ahead of Ian, didn't he? Because Ian finished 11th and Gavin finishes where? Gavin finishes 8th. So yeah, he'll gain a little bit of a... Uh, ground on Ian behind him there. Assuming uh, Ian didn't get, although he did get some good bonus points, so maybe not as much, but I think you'll still get a little bit of a 
a little bit on him there. And uh, we'll be looking forward to New Hampshire next time out. You can see that's the rest of the schedule there. We got six races left to do. And uh, it'll be New Hampshire, followed by Indianapolis coming up next. And I'm looking forward to it. Hope to see you there. Some more uh, green flag racing ahead, I imagine. Got some here, and it was a lot of fun, like always. So thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.